It was in 1995 that 5,000 hectares of land in a remote part of the state of Selangor was earmarked for Malaysia's most ambitious project. Putrajaya. It was a dream made true by Malaysia's foremost visionary, Tun Dr. Mahathir bin Mohammed, who had toyed with setting up the administrative capital away from the hustle and bustle of Kuala Lumpur since the mid-1980s. Putrajaya was launched as the world's first e-government initiative. At a cost of 8.1 billion US dollars, it became one of Southeast Asia's largest construction projects. It is an inspiring example of sustainable human development designed to meet the needs of a growing nation for at least 300 years. Named after Malaysia's first Prime Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, Putrajaya is a balanced development where public parks, lakes, wetlands, and a rainforest take up one third of its entire space. Putrajaya boasts the largest botanical gardens in the country and the largest freshwater wetlands in the tropics. A 600 hectare man-made lake is the principal landscape feature which also serves as a climate moderator. The lake is a popular destination for leisure activities. Much of Putrajaya has been designated for government complexes, commercial buildings, and residential space. When fully developed, Putrajaya will house more than a quarter of a million people. There is a sense of space in Putrajaya. Even though huge buildings house all the important government ministries, and agencies. Leading to the Prime Minister's complex is a popular spot for a variety of events. Putrajaya has hosted a number of world-class regattas. Putrajaya is still growing and developing. As it matures, it continues to stun visitors 
with its concept of how man should balance his life as he lives, works and plays. Trajaya, Malaysia's intelligent garden city.